What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Core Imbalance. Eric here. I am going to be your host today for this new edition of, uh, I don't even know what the hell this is called. Core Imbalance Show, Core Imbalance Podcast, podcast something like that. Core Imbalance Rants. <coughs> Core Imbalance yeah. yeah, Rants, exactly. So we're in here in some random living room, low production values. It's all good. We got DJ over here on the right hand side. What's up, man? What's Yo. your Instagram? Busted ass hatch. Busted, Busted ass, ass hatch. hatch. Yeah, pretty straight straightforward. <laughs> That's what's up. We got this guy, Kenji. You guys all know him from Subi Days and uh, Arc Seven, Arc Seven, some other other risey shit that you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> cool. So today's topic is gonna be about. You guys ready for this? Okay, let's do <clears> it. <throat> what's the damage? The damage is gonna be why working in your car sucks ass. Oh. You guys ready for that? And that's on how three. long is this podcast? Cause... Ten minutes. Ten minutes. We keep it brief. <laughs> so whatever monologue you got, yeah. keep it tight. Yep. Okay. So I'll kick off with the fact that I'll kind of lay the foundation, right? So when you're young and you're eager, you have a lot of time, you have a lot of energy. You don't maybe have quite a lot of money, so it's like a it's like a factor of compromise, right? Yeah. Correct. So that means you're going to spend all your time and energy working your car. You're going to love it. You're going to love doing it. But then as you kind of progress through life, it's an evolution, right? Then maybe once you get older, you start getting a little bit more money, you start losing time, you don't have as much time to work on your cars as you did when you were younger. So then you're not gonna wanna work on cars every day. You don't wanna be on the floor nah. wrenching on cars, nah, getting nah, covered nah. in oil every day, right? Do you right. guys agree with me on this? Yeah, I agree, definitely. So you were actually a mechanic as well. Yep. And you were as well. Yep. So you, these two professional mechanics, yeah. Yeah. These two bring very uh, relevant perspectives <laughs> in this topic. Yeah. So I'll start with you, DJ. What do you think about this? Um. I think you're pretty much on the money with that. When you're young and you get into it, you're you're eager. You're willing to do anything it takes to get your car on the road, keep right. yourself driving, going to meet, you know, whatever yeah. event you can. Um, but as you get older, life kicks your ass. You know, you got more <laughs> money and less time, and the only like viable thing to do is pay somebody else to do it, or not do as much as you were doing before because. Yeah. Somebody could do it better for cheaper what it's worth your time for you. You're paying professionals for what they do as a living. Yeah. For their services. Correct. Rather right? than pulling your hair out trying to get and it done. Doing it yourself. And doing it wrong. And doing it wrong. Yeah. But when you're like 16 years old and you're still just wrenching on your first project car, even saving like 100 bucks, it's when it costs you like 12 hours of work, you'll oh. do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it. it's, a, break your back it's a huge deal. It's yeah. a huge deal. Even now, like, I'm at that middle point. I'm not there yet, but I'm at that middle point where I don't really rent your own cars anymore, but yeah. I'll do it for myself to save myself money, you know? So one more question for you is, uh, why, why did you stop working on cars professionally? Because you pulled it, out of that, it, right? Yeah, it just got to be too much. I got to a point where... I wanted my driving career to take off and there was no time for that after a 12 hour day of wrenching on somebody else's car. You know? To wrench on your own car. Yeah, you know, you, you go through a 10, 12 hour day wrenching on everybody else's car and yeah. your car is still in shambles and you have no effort, like no want to even touch it because right, right. you just want to go home and sleep. Because the moral of the story is Wrenching on cars, working on cars, it sucks because it's super hard work. It's not easy work. No. Otherwise, everybody would be out here building shit, right? We'll be building cars left and right. And it's not just labor intensive, it's mentally draining. Absolutely. <laughs> For Absolutely. sure. Right. How about you, Kenji? You're also a professional mechanic as well, right? Correct. The, the, the <coughs> Motorsport Techniques in Hayward, they're like okay. a kind of modified type shop. Bolt on, wheels, tires. Sometimes they didn't just swap turbos and stuff, but I, when I was pretty young, for four or five years, and then after that I went to BMW for another four or five years, mm -hmm. and I thought I loved cars. <laughs> well, I thought I loved working on them. Since I was yeah. young, since we're all 16, we wrenched, again, we yeah. wrenched on our own cars, and I was like, dude, I could do this forever. Forever, I love <laughs> wrenching on my own car. But yeah. I don't, I realize I don't like wrenching on other people's cars. That's the problem. Like or when I, you don't have to. I, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I just didn't see it as that. That wasn't a passion to me. It was actually wrenching anymore. You know, the passion to me was just enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And wrenching it wasn't, for me, it wasn't part of it. Like, I know some people probably love to wrench down there. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, this is awesome. I, just like you probably still get that good yeah, feeling I, of satisfaction, I satisfaction when you finish it. Yeah. I, no. I used to, but I, I, I just can't anymore. I, I want to drive it now. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. I want to see the end result rather than the middle, the process in the middle. Now I'm just tired of it. You'd I've like so to much. enjoy it. You yeah. know what goes into it. You just want, I just to, want to enjoy, enjoy it. it now. Right. I just want to drive it now. For sure. <laughs> Not that I don't do my own stuff. I'll do little stuff as when I can. So I'm totally with you on that. Like you know, I like the little stuff. Spectrum yeah. in life. Yeah. yeah. Because after a while, you've done it all. Like mm -hmm. right. I mean, you've rented cars for like over a decade. Yeah. You've done it. You built so many cars. Why do you have to keep putting in the work? I mean, you've already kind of earned your claim. You've already yeah. gotten the street cred of it. Is it really that bad to just outsource the work and focus on other things in life to fund your projects and still be involved with cars? Otherwise, you're going to burn out, right? Yeah. If I kept working on cars the way I kept doing it for you know endless amounts of years, yeah. I can't keep it up. There's no way. Bad. I think that kind of segues into or dovetails into another subject altogether. It's that if you do your passion for a living, it no longer becomes a passion, right? You never want to do what you love day in, day out. It's not special anymore. Uh, but that's, the, that's the thing is because everybody always <laughs> says, yeah. everybody always says, right? They're like, you know, oh, well, if you do what you love, you never have to work a day in your life. Well, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. No way. That's bullshit, right? Because for somebody who you has- You gotta mix it up. Yeah. Well, for me, at least, is like I burn, I have that mentality. It's like, I love wrenching. I could probably do this for the rest of my life, but things change. Exactly. Life changes, life happens. Exactly. You don't always get the time for that. So my other question of the subject is, do you think there's any merits to the whole uh, street cred or the, the fact that people will look down on you if you don't wrench on your own car? Like built not bought kind of thing. Or yeah, built, something like that. Something I mean, like you that. can still yes. build it but not work on it, but you think that's like a very huge demerit? Yes. It still <laughs> and is. I, and I'm guilty of that, for sure, because I'm, I definitely, I have a lot of friends that have had their cars built and they're really nice builds, they're done properly, everything's solid, and I still don't give them as much respect as I think I should, right? Because the back of your mind, you're holding back. Because it's like, I also, from a friend's standpoint, you know what they're capable of, and it's like, you know what they can do and they choose not to do it, and then they, you know. But have they done it before in the past? Have they kind of earned their stripes? Um, it's different. They've never done it. Yeah, it's I don't know because typically with those kind of people is like they've always been that way. And they, uh, they they've all they've always kind of just been like you know want to have what's hot and want to be in in the loop and then that's about it. But those are that's with any any group, right? Yeah, it's hype beast. It's like shit on the back of this magnet. magnet. It's metal shavings. Yeah. <laughs> Going from the adolescent mind state to more of a mature mind state, you yeah. see that why people do that rather than spending all this, you know, ridiculous amount of time and all this stress to do it yourself. It's a lot of stress. You pull it your is. hair out for this stuff. It stuff. is. Yeah. No, definitely. I'm on a similar vein of thought, but I feel like you can kind of bucket the type of people into like separate categories altogether, right? You have the people who, who just like to buy cars out of the box, not touch it. They'll just buy like a Lamborghini and just flaunt it, post it on social media, they're done. They're not gonna do anything to it. Mm -hmm. Correct. And then you have people who will buy a car <coughs> And then they'll actually pay somebody else to mod it, right? They won't actually do the work themselves, but they like building cars still. Correct. They're still liking it a little bit deeper. They like going to that They're next level. They're still modifying. They're yeah. still modifying. And then, of course, you have people in the third camp who are, like, I guess, the most deep-rooted enthusiasts who will actually do it from the ground up, tear apart the car themselves, do all the work themselves, right? Yeah. And then eventually those people kind of mold into, like, one sort of, like, you know, gradual progression of a person. They kind of mature into, like, a different phase, right? Yeah, and mature is the word. Yeah. Because everybody... Dude, when you started out with cars, you're not drive. You're not into what you are were into when you started. No, like you're you've completely changed. I know I have. You have just said you did. I'm sure you did too. Hundred percent. You know, 100%. it's a progression. It's evolution of life. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you're still into the same exact car that you're into when you're 16 and you're like 30, you might have missed a step. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Or you just got it right from the beginning. Oh damn. That, that's damn. rare, but yeah, if like you me. did, then no, I mean, <laughs> you didn't, I don't think you got a background with the city. FC. 16. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. FC still? Oh, okay. No comment. That's another I know, subject. You're, you're not going to like that. Yeah, subject. Can't, can't, go wrong, can't go wrong with the rotor. Can't go wrong with that. That's another thing. Can't go wrong with the rotor. Car guys are very, can be very close minded people. It's a very polarizing field that we're in for sure. Yeah. Correct. Definitely. But that's what makes it fun. Is the different views. If everyone thought the same, that wouldn't be no fun. No. True. Right? But personally, from my perspective, I don't like to kind of shit on people who don't work on cars if they already worked on cars. But if they've never done it before, yeah, maybe that's a different like, you know, perspective. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But I, going back to that, I still feel like someone could have the same amount of passion as we do in cars and not has, have even, even wrenched on one or touched one. Yeah. They could still 
really passionate have, about cars. Like, oh, that's, I what, I was, that's, that's, that's like, what I was saying. Yeah. I have friends we got love of cars that are wealthy I just don't on. I just and don't on it. buy ridiculous cars, and or will buy a car that's already built that somebody else built. And they love it. And these yeah. guys are on Forza every night. They're, they're on, into cars. They're into cars, like genuinely into cars. And you would think, like meeting them, you know, oh, this guy for sure built his own car. It's like a Wikipedia. Yeah, and he's Wikipedia like, still has parts never, and doesn't own a wrench. Just knows the sales for sure. You know, he knows. Yeah. like has a tire gauge and that's about it. But he loves cars. Because he knows deep knowledge of cars, like the intricacies of the technicalities, right? Those like, type of people, in my experience, generally dive really heavy into whatever they're into. So if they like FCs, they'll dive really heavy into FCs and go online and look at I mean, all this stuff for FCs it, yeah. and learn everything they can about that. That's commendable. That's actually pretty good. That's, that's a little bit more rare though to find people in that bucket, right? Yeah. And they always will lose a bit of color in their uh, knowledge because they're not going to have the, the first-hand experience of like wrenching on that FC, knowing no. how that turbo no. fits, Correct. all the different angles and you know stuff like that. Some people's minds also don't work that way though. Correct. Some, True. Some people don't even know how to turn around. Yeah. Yeah. And to be, to be <laughs> honest, to be honest, I envy those people because you know why? They have the best of both worlds. Yeah. They like cars and they have the easiest path to obtain those cars. They don't have to put in the, the toil and work. Yeah, I'm wrenching to get to that point. <laughs> yeah, we're like, we love these cars. All right, let's build it. Let's build it and put in a lot of stress and take off years of your life to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, Ten months later, your hair's like ah, falling out. Yeah, you exactly. haven't eaten in a week. You haven't eaten in a week. Yeah, it's like living in your garage. <laughs> yeah, you smell like. Well, ass. that guy is like just playing fours at night in his comfy living room. Yeah, his car's built because you know he's did the smart thing. He paid somebody to do it. Yeah. So I don't know. It kind of goes like both ways. It goes then. So. Definitely, it is awesome. very rewarding to yes. work on your own car. It's very you've done it, of, of course. I've done it. I it like that Corolla killed me, you know. But <laughs> but I'll be honest, the Lotus I didn't do that much to it because a lot of the stuff had to be done in a shop. Right. Yeah. So yeah. recall work, the clamshell. Be, yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna take the clamshell off in my parents' garage. I mean, I don't have like the facilities these no. days. And most importantly, I don't have the time. I'm too busy with work. We're all, right? we're, we'll, we're all older and we have to work. We're all older, exactly. Yeah. So Adulting. no regrets. I love Adulting, it. Yeah. yeah. So it was awesome. Life happens, man. <laughs> Life exactly. definitely happens. And there's some other things that I just do not do, and I'll freely admit it. Like for example, I don't paint things, and yeah. I don't fabricate things. I, don't, I nope, can't weld. We're not painters, yeah. right? I can't professionally weld as good as somebody else who does it for a living. So for that type of stuff, I've always outsourced it. Yeah, correct. Right? But for everything else, like electronics or uh, you wiring, you can do that yourself. Wrenching, yeah. I do that myself, right? But these days, I'm pushing more and more of it away, okay. and I don't, I don't feel bad about it. Not only fun. that, but as we get older, more of our friends own their own shops, right? So it's really cool <laughs> to be like, hey, here, bud. A lot of shop right here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's really cool to support your own friends and, and, and get what you need out of it, too. Because these guys are doing this as a living, as professionals. Yeah. To purposely build for you, yeah. right? So right. why don't you take advantage of that? Yeah. Why do you have to do all the hard work? You don't have to do everything, right? Yeah. It's like going to a restaurant, they cook for you. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't cook for myself. Like, yeah, I always eat buy Chipotle. I buy Chipotle. There you go, see? They're better at making burritos than I am. Professional <laughs> cookers. Yeah. So Support small that. business. <laughs> so you are kind of still in the middle phase. You still like to work on cars, but yeah. you're kind of tapering away from that, right? Yeah, definitely. Right? You can kind of see the merits of like not having to do it all the time. Yeah. Right? You, on the other hand, are like me, or not quite like me. I guess you're fully off. I might be fully off. You might be fully might off. Even I'm still kind of you in might it. even wrench more than I do. I'm still in it, yeah. Like the loads, I still have to do some stuff this winter. I, I did a good amount on that Corolla, dude. I did yeah, a, lot, did a lot. lot. I did a good, good amount on that Corolla. Me. That's why <laughs> this this topic is so fresh in my mind because that Corolla, <laughs> oh my god, I gave up weekends. I worked 14 hours back to back Saturday, Sunday to work on the Corolla. And you know what, dude? You and that worked Monday to Friday. I don't know if you saw any of it, but you caught a lot of flack for that car. For what? Just the like the pricing and everything, and like I had to tell a lot of people like, no, dude, you don't understand. Like, he, he, he put, there's a lot in the. Did they not car. see the rest of the videos? Like, I was in there. No, dude, definitely. pulling axles, like doing all this shit, pulling the engine out. It was not easy. It's a lot. Put the same sticker on it twice. Yeah, no, four that. times. Four yeah, times. Yeah, and she just put it on my side. That's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. I'm like, yeah, that's all right. That leaves a vivid, like it burns a vivid memory inside of me. You know, it's like yeah. it's like a it's like a pain. Like it's like I think back on it. I don't I don't see pleasure. I don't see like. You know, triumph, like, oh, I did this shit, I'm so cool. No, <laughs> it fucking sucks. Like, working on the Corolla sucked, not honestly. Even, not even after being in speed honors? No, no. I don't give a shit. Like, this, to, I'd rather pace, okay, put it this way. Any, you don't win any. No, put, put it, put it, come on. No, I know, but to see, to see yourself, to see people. Though. Appreciate To see it. people appreciating it. your stuff. Yeah, it's nice. exactly. Yeah. It's nice, but I mean, the speed hunter article for my Corolla, for example, it didn't really talk about like how I did all the work uh, too much. It didn't focus on the work part, just focus on the end product. And I right. could have gotten the same end product in that feature if I just paid somebody to do all the shit for me. 
Yeah, you true. Save all that time. Features don't get picked yeah. by if you did more. Dude, I would much stuff. rather be chilling at like a fucking pool, drinking like a pina colada <laughs> on, a, on a Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, and stuff. Hey, in a garage. Uh, yeah, my swap done. Exactly. Save. Is it done? Yeah, is it ready? <laughs> Sign a check. Done. Hey, you get that it's, sticker right? No, no do it again. Do it. That's all, right. all you gotta say. Exactly. <laughs> Just order a new sticker. Have order that guy it. do it. Yeah. You don't have to do it yourself. <laughs> Yeah. So with that, I think that really wraps it up. That's why these days I'm cherishing time over wrenching. Yeah. Right now. Right. For sure. So I mean, definitely wrench. Definitely get the experience, but there's a limit. You don't have to go full board. There's no street cred in terms of like, oh my god, this guy just will not have somebody else do his work. Even if there What's, is, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> you're not. You're not doing smarter, in my opinion. Yeah. You're being dumb, like I was with a Corolla. Yeah. You're like trying to do a lot of it right. in the house. Yeah. <clears throat> but you so, have to learn. You have to start somewhere. You, you gotta have do it somewhere. Do a little bit, learn, mm -hmm. and at least you know what's going on when you do take it somewhere, so you know you're not getting ripped off, though. 100, no. Right. 100%. That's the main thing. Hundred percent. But I feel like this might be a kind of a relative subject. But I feel like there's a limit to when you can call it. Right? right. For me, I was doing this since I was like 16. It's been about like, you know, over 10 years. Yeah. So I feel like I was kind of already stuck into this a little bit too long. I probably could have called it a little bit sooner, saved a little bit of uh, my expenses and time, right? So it's all a phase thing, you know? Everybody goes through an evolution. Yeah, for sure. So, DJ, how old are you? 26. 26. I so you're kind of nearing the phase where yeah. you might be over the hill, I right? I, yes and no. I was still wrenching at 26. I, I, okay. I mean, I started I started up. wrenching when I was 16. I started driving when I was like 13. Uh, so yeah. it's like cars have always been a thing for me. So when do you realistically think, if you look forward, when do you think you're going to stop wrenching on cars like full-time like, or just doing most of your work? You're going to start paying people to do it? Um, Honestly, dude, probably not until... I'm at least 40, 50 years old. Oh, you're a little bit more hardcore than most. Then. Yeah, because that's fine I, though. Because for me, I really like to be involved with my cars. Right. There's not a single nut or bolt on either of my cars that I haven't touched multiple times. Okay, let me ask you. So when you're maybe 30, you're a little bit busier with work. Are you gonna still have the time and capacity? Maybe you get like married or something like that, right? Yeah. You're gonna have the time to spend on your car in the garage. On the that's weekend. that's where it differs from how into it you are, right? Correct. I'm hardcore about sacrifice this. for me personally yeah this is my life drifting Correct. and cars is my life and there's not much else to it so i think the clear-cut conclusion to this <laughs> is there's no clear answer no but we can all agree whether or not you do it or not working on cars sucks it sucks, <laughs> it sucks. Oh, whether or not you do it, yeah, we'd, it rather, sucks. we'd rather not have to work on at all and just be able to drive, drive all the time yeah no if i could never wrench we, on my car yeah. and it was never broken i right. could just thrash on it I think most no, but then that's going back to what you're saying. Like you don't want to do that. You're gonna keep wrenching on cars until you're like 40 plus, but because you're in but this shit, right? That's not because I have to wrench on it because something broke. I'm yeah. saying if parts didn't break and you're, I could just do it once do that, right? <laughs> and drive my car once, okay, I would yeah. love it. But what about just paying somebody to do it then? That's what I was asking. Like, what if no. you just because because that goes back to the whole because it's like yeah, it was built right by that guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I okay. want it to be built right. By me. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it. I'm 50 50 right now. You are kind of the other way, 100% like deep into like, I don't want to build it, right? That's, that's fine. As long as someone's building it, you're good. Yeah, as sure. long as it's done right. As long as it's like, done right. Like our Subi build is yeah. right here at this shop right now, being the being swapped and all that yeah. stuff, right? Turbo being upgraded for I you. I touched a couple things, but. You just come over, check it out. Like, I just come make over sure it's work. done good. Cause I was see you on the lift. Because I've worked on before, so at least I know what's going on. Yeah, and you tell Josh over there who's back there, like, you know, doing something, be like, hey, make that better, right? <laughs> Okay, you done. Yeah. Done. Sign yeah. Check. Yep. That's awesome. Here's some money. Here's my idea. Goodbye. Yeah. Need I'll, some more money for this? Here yeah. you go. Call, call, me call me when you're done. Call me when you're done. Both yeah. of us. We work hard so we could yeah. pay someone else to do it. Honestly, I would, I would still be under his uh, mindset if I just had more time. I don't, I don't have, have the luxury of that time. Yeah. It, you know? Dude, it comes down to. It's time. It's time. 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 time, time, time. Tons of time, no money. Yeah. Tons of money, no time. Like that's that's, that's, it. Yeah, that's it. There's yeah. no middle ground with that. I think the only middle ground is when you retire or something like that. Right. Yeah, yeah. But dude, you're. I want to enjoy my car. I don't want to like at that point. You're 50 years old, 45, 50 years old. You're no, like, man. See, driving. Okay, this is another topic. But driving is one of the skills you can learn in life and keep and keep evolving while, as you get older. Like for there's seniors out there that are still racing. They're getting faster and faster with their lap times. Yep. It's pretty awesome. That's true. Because it's not like yeah. the most physically demanding thing. You're not it's out not. there like it's playing this. basketball or something, you know? It's this. Yeah. 
Why so don't, <laughs> long you don't screw your your knees or your legs? Yeah, keep your good. keep your left knee good for your clutch. That's yeah. good. Nah, nah, no, all the Ferraris now are just oh, all now. Now. pal shifters. Banging gear, you. you're gonna be all right. <laughs> you'll be all right. There you go. There's ways to it. I think this video is about to go a little bit over time, so thank you again for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys like it. Uh, if you guys have any more suggestions for new topics, if you like this format, if you want to see DJ back here on this channel, say what's up to him, leave a comment. Hey. And then, of course, this guy, whatever, I'll bring him back anyway. <laughs> so whatever. He's, like, don't like he's like a code. Whether you like him or not, he Sorry. might show up anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, that concludes Core Balance rant slash shop slash show slash podcast. And uh, until next time, we'll see you right here in Core Balance. Peace. <laughs> Good. <sighs> Sweet.